Hello and welcome. I'd like to share with you my personal experience building my own website with Sandbox. You see, as a photographer, most of our time are devoted to taking photographs and editing them. No one likes getting caught up with the complexities of building a website. With Sandbox, it's a snap. Let me show you how. For my own website, I applied the different page features to show you how flexible Sandbox is. Notice on the left side of the window, this is what we'll call the site outline. Topmost is the title page, which will appear in every page in our website. Followed by QuickTime Video, Living Positively, Paradise Lost is a video uploaded onto YouTube. Eyewitness is a photo album. Snippets of Life is a photo weblog. All these, I will show you how I built them from scratch. Now let's close this window and make a new site here. Create new site. Let's name it AWOL. You see AWOL went right into the title bar. Now let's change the subtitle. Up here, you'll see a toolbar. All you'll ever need for making your website is here. Below is a collection of templates. You can use whichever suits your personality or the theme of your website. In my case, I picked a plain gray one. Yes, I am plain and graying. Notice that our title and subtitle fit right into the new template. Now that's settled, click on the design icon up here, hiding the template so we have more space to work on. For the main section, I'd like to say a little something. Editing text in Sandbox is like how you would in a regular document file. You copy paste, select all, show fonts. I want to put it at size 18, center, give it some space, home page not applicable. You might also want to add a profile picture. For this, we'll go to the media browser. Notice up here you'll see four icons. Images from your iPhoto, music from your iTunes, video from your movies folder, and links from your Safari. For my profile picture, I'd like to add a photo of my camera. Click and drag. Notice in this photo, Sandvox brings with it file info, date and time it was taken, in this case caption that I had originally used for this photo, which is not applicable in this case, so we'll edit that. Below is a footer, in this case I'd like to add my contact info. Now we're done with the title page. For the first photo essay, I used a QuickTime video. Let's go back to the media browser in the toolbar. Movies tab and pick out Living Positively. I used iPhoto to create this slideshow. Or you can also use iMovie. Now let's see if it works. Video pages and pagelets use QuickTime to embed multimedia in the page. Bear in mind the file size should be appropriate for viewing over the web. For iPhoto, I exported the slideshow in medium to large. For iMovie, you can compress the video for email, web, web streaming, or for CD-ROM. Now after you publish your website, Make sure you give it a try. Check to see if it takes forever to load or it's going to be a pain. For this story, I picked out photo album from collections. Now a photo album icon appears on the site outline. I will rename it Eyewitness.
add a brief description. Eyewitness folder. Select all. Drag and drop. There you go. Notice that thumbnails of the images appear on the site outline. They are arranged alphabetically. But you can rearrange them to however you want your story to flow. But in this case, I like my story the way it flows. Notice that the photo has a page devoted to itself. You can move it forward. Or you can go back to the thumbnail page. Now we are done with our photo album. Collapse Eyewitness. For our next story, is a quick time video uploaded on YouTube. Let's go to the pages toolbar and select the YouTube icon. Oops, I seem to have put YouTube into the eyewitness folder, but this should be easy to rectify. All you have to do is click and drag it back into a wall so it becomes a page of its own. Now I'll show you a tool we haven't used before. It's called the inspector tool. Let's change the title to Paradise Lost. Include in site menu. And all we have to do is add a link to the YouTube video. Below are options. You can either reduce the size of the video, a little too small, or increase size, a little too big, yet you still have to scroll down to view the whole video. I think the default was just nice. And add border to give it a much cleaner look. For the last part, let's do a photo weblog. Let's change the title. Add a short description. And here I'd like to add a few of my favorite photos. Now let's go to media, iPhoto, click and drag into snippets of life. There you go, let's change the title. And let's leave the caption as this. Another thing we can do is to add a text file. There you go, nannies without borders. Basic file types we know are compatible are the Microsoft Word documents, plain text that's .txt, and rich text that's .rtf. Also in the inspector tool, we can add enable reader comments. So before we do anything else, let's save a snapshot. It's like saving it, only it's better. It keeps an archive of all the versions you've ever made. I think that's cool. A brief run through of what we've done. Let's go to the title page, title bar, subtitle, profile picture, contact info. All these will appear in every page in our website. Okay. Followed by video, living positively. The eyewitness is in a photo album. Paradise Lost is in a YouTube video. Snippets of Life as a text file blog and a photo blog. Now that's pretty much all I need to showcase my photos, but feel free to explore the other features in Sandbox by downloading their trial version in sandbox.com.